Chan Mill, Chan Mill, if we look at Chan Mill. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I went the wrong way. Wrong way again. <laughs> Help me, I'm going insane. <laughs> oh, I'm almost as tall as you in this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want her? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Free to a good home. I'm, I'm taking my cat with, with me. Good. She's noisy <laughs> at night. All right. So we're going to start off this video with um, a finished piece. If you have joined the new Facebook group that I started, then you saw this. Um, so if you have not joined the Facebook group, I'll put a link um, in the description and you can come join us and we can share our paintings and chit chat join us. since YouTube is being so difficult with their comments. Um, this way yeah, uh, we can talk on Facebook and you can show me what you're working on and ask me questions and I can answer them um, a little bit easier. So here is the most recent one I finished. Very, very simple. I love dandelions. They're just, it was, as a kid, um, our yard was full of them in Kentucky, and it always drove my dad crazy because I loved blowing the dandelions, and he's like, you're weeding my yard. It drove him crazy. He hated it. Um, so I've always loved them. They're just so magical. And, uh, yeah. So I just had to get this one because it was cute and small, and it took all of, like, I don't know, half an hour to finish. And this I did trying to um, smooth out the creases. So that is another reason why I like to open them and leave them sitting under the computer for a week or so. Um, this one came in the mail the other day and I wanted to get it started. So I was running it along the corner of the desk and caused the crease. So yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Anyway. So there's that. A nice job. And do you like the new camera setup? I got a little wild hair um, and rearranged my desk and my room. So actually, let me, oh, you can kind of see behind the chair. Move that chair out of the way. Thanks. I'm sorry. I have to move your head out. Just slide the chair over here. Excuse me. So can you see right here? That is my new um, diamond painting. <laughs> And look at the mess in the floor from us getting ready to do the video. Um, so that is the new thing I have instead of those individual drawer uh, boxes that I have. You guys, there was a white drawer, but now it is over here. Yeah, I moved stuff Down there. on this side of the desk. And, and now there's a paper accordion on top. Because, um, anyway. So, I have a new, and I have a, ooh, excuse me, I have a second one of those coming. Um... I still have, the top drawer is not full yet. Those are all going to be drills and diamond painting supplies that go in those drawers. Um, I think I showed this one already. I think you all saw this one already. It's pretty. So we talked about how I changed it from mostly yellow to purple. I'm getting ready to frame it. So that's why it is sitting out. Yeah, but but isn't you guys it already saw gorgeous? it, too bad. You're seeing it again. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, so on to the point of the video. Um, oh, this is another one I finished that I want to share with you. Here is a special drill eagle. This is another one I took creative liberties on. The original um, code called for a brown... Um, rhinestones on the head and it looked really weird so I took them all off I added the orange to the beak just to kind of highlight that area I changed the claws to this orange instead of black and I think I'm going to um, change this as well because these are the claws also um, and and I don't really like the black I also changed the leg from black to this brown color mm -hmm. and I really like how it looks a lot better but I do the black claws are kind of bugging me so I think I'm going to take those off and change it to this um, orange 
but it's a really cool painting. And this is another one that showed up in the mail and I immediately took it out and finished it in, in a couple wait, of hours. And wait till the end of the actually, video. Actually, less than that, actually. And wait till the end of the video. So that's another okay. really, really cool one. Why are you talking over me? What? You have an announcement at the end of the video. Oh, good grief. I have another finished one to share with you. What am I doing here? Did you notice something? On... So here is another finished. <laughs> I know I've been really bad lately. They're coming in the mail and I'm just opening them up and doing them. So um, I can't help myself. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I did change stuff on here also. We were just talking about this on the Facebook group about changing colors. Um, I added the Aurora Borealis blue pearls to the center. It was supposed to be this yellow. And I didn't want so much yellow because with all the blue... Um, I wanted to add more blue. So I love the different stones here. These little tiny, let me get closer so you can see them. There we go. These little gold, where am I? The little gold teardrops. Oh my gosh. They are, you can see how small they are. Where is my finger? I'm, I'm doing this blindly. I can't see the camera. So you can see how small they are next to my finger. Man, let me tell you, they are tedious to place, but aren't they pretty? So this is a really beautiful mandala, and I love these large um, marquee. They're beautiful, and I love the different colors that they put in the center. And the blue teardrops here in the center, so pretty. But this is a really beautiful special drill. The last. No, like the last. It's the same as mine. Mm -hmm. So, um, should we do a giveaway here? I have a giveaway planned. I just have to figure out how to. Since YouTube changed the commenting, all that, I haven't been able to figure out how I'm going to do the giveaway. So I promise it's coming. Um, or how many? Just how many we have now? We're going to do a giveaway. It doesn't matter. We're already past my initial. Giveaway desire. How about if we get to so this is the next one that came in the mail and I had to immediately do. I love it. You're so cute. Yeah. She. It's a she. I tell you, it's a she. She's adorable. Look at her fancy fingernails. Isn't she cute? She's adorable. So so cute. I don't know why. I'm not a I'm not a big dragon person, but um, when I saw this one, I just thought she was adorable and I needed her. So there's that. Isn't she fun? I love the colors too. Okay. Now on to the main point. The main attraction. These are not finished paintings. These are ones that have come in the mail and have been um, waiting for your viewing. Yes. Okay. I have one more at the very end. I'll show you. So um, here is this one. It's a 30 by 40, as you can see there. Special drill. I love how colorful this is. It's going to be so fun to do. Um, it is 10 stones. And you can see we're probably going to have the special little... Um, well, probably there with the beak will be that special peacock eye that I like so much. Ooh, I can't read that. 19. I think this is it. I see lots of yellow. I had to plug in the computer. My battery is so bad on this computer. It dies so quick. Lots and lots of yellow. So um, I might be changing this too. I'm just, I'm not, I like yellow. It's a fun, bright, festive co color. But um, I don't know. I just, I, I'm not a big fan of so much yellow on the paintings. Mm. No. Alrighty. Ooh, I was wrong. Oh, 44. 
let's double check. Oh, so this is her beak. So it is different than the normal. I like it. I like it a lot. Then we have our crystal rounds. And we have the really cool um, Aurora Borealis coated regular drills, which I really like these. They're really neat. And then we have um, the peach teardrops, which I'm assuming go on the top of her head. Let's see. Yes. So the peach teardrops are not claws this time. They go across her head right here. That's where they will go. Um, her claws are actually, I wonder if that's the yellow. Let's see. Um, no. Nope. Nope. Okay, so on to the, oh, look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is all, that's three bags of yellow for this painting. Um, number three is the up arrow. So it is the main outline color for this painting. So um, what I will do is I will do everything first and decide what I'm thinking, and then we'll see if I stick with the yellow or not. So we have red and pink, and then all that yellow. And these bags are full, too. They are fat, lots of yellow. Then we have two shades of blue. And then a really cool lime green. I like this green a lot. So this will be a simple, um, even though it's a 30 by 40, it'll still probably go pretty fast, except for that final. That's a lot of, that's a lot of drills. So I really love this painting. I've been um, looking at this one for a while and um, finally found it on eBay. So I got it a little bit cheaper than Peggy Buy had it. But Peggy Buy does have it, so I will link um, to Peggy Buy in the description if you want to go get your own and not, because I have not seen another one on eBay yet. So Peggy Buy will probably be, if you don't want to wait, Peggy Buy will be your best option there. So let's put these away. This bag is really big for the amount of drills. Just drop that there. Okay, next we have a small, I think this is 25 centimeters. It does not say, but it's really small. It is 11 colors. And it is gorgeous. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this is a regular drill. Sorry if I had that out of camera range. Yes, this is a regular drill, beautiful tiger face. And for the size, I, it's going to turn out really nice. I mean, look at it from a distance. It's going to be really cool. So the size is okay on this um, particular one. So as you can guess, it's going to be black and gray. So we won't go through these drills. There is a little bit of yellow for the eyes and some orange on the nose. But other than that, it's just, you know, you can see the colors there, so we won't go through the drills. Save a few minutes there. Um, the next one is another fun small, and this is this is funny. When we um, when this one came in the mail, it really made us laugh. Check out the um, the name. Isn't that hilarious? It's a new penguin. So this uh, matches my um, regular drill that I have. It is smaller. The, um, well, maybe it's not. Now that I'm looking at them, I guess they are the same size. But this is a special drill. The one that I have on the wall um, on the other side of my bed um, is a regular drill. So when I saw this one, I was like, ooh, yeah, I have them side by side. It'll be fun. So um, there are 10 stones on this one, and I say stones when I'm talking about the specials because it's not always drills. You have the different shapes and the different styles of uh, rhinestones, so that's, I don't know, stone just sounds right to me. 
So first off, we have our beautiful pearl beads, drills, stones, whatever you want to call them. They're not beads because they're not round. So this will be her whiskers. And then the rest of them are the regular rhinestones. So like I said, there are 10 colors. And we start off with the clear or the silver, however you want to say it. Then we go to red. We have three different blues. Yellow. And then this is a chartreuse color. Really cool. I haven't seen this color yet in the rhinestones. And then we have another green and then a pink, dark pink color. So not a complete rainbow. There's no purple there, but it will still be really pretty. And I was excited when she came in the mail because that's, and this was what I was going to immediately start doing, but then something else came in the mail and I was more excited. So um, the kitty actually got put on the back burner, which is a big surprise. So again, here is our penguin. So funny. So, so funny. But it's going to be really, really cool. I love it. And next we will look at this one. This is gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Down to two sets of stone drills. Let's see, now I'm calling everything stones. How beautiful is this? This is going to be so stunning when it's done. I love the look of the artwork. It's almost um, Monet-ish with like the dots and the pixelation. It's going to be really, really pretty. So this is a 30 by 40 and there are 20 colors on this, which is surprising because it looks really uh, muted and pale, but for 20 colors, it's going to have 20 colors. So it's going to be really amazing. And we will go through the colors on this because um, it just it doesn't look like it would have 20 different colors. So I'm curious to see what all we will get. All right. So, oops, hang on. Time out. Okay. I had to. I left out some drills from the other painting. I had to fix them. So for our peacock. We have two shades of gray starting off there. Then we have a pale mustard color or a Dijon color maybe. Then we have a, another light gray and a pale, pale blue. Now the next section is going to be blues. So there's two there. This is more of a turquoise color and a darker blue. Then we have a taupe and then two more blues. Then we have three shades of purple, which reminds me of like um, a hyacinth, that color. Then we have two more blues or teal colors, really. They're more teal. Then we have a little tiny bit of peach and then cream. So this is going to be a beautiful, mostly blue, a little bit of purple. I really think this is going to be a really, really pretty, really pretty painting. So let's put these beauties away. So again, that's 20 colors, 30 by 40. Beautiful peacock. All right, in we go, in we go, in we go. Okay, and last, certainly not least, is fabulous. I'm telling you, and I was so blown away. We were at Joanne's um, last week, I think it was, or the week before, and I saw this in a puzzle, and I was like, oh! I've got that diamond painting coming and I almost had to buy the puzzle, but I'm like, no, do not have time for puzzles. I've probably got 20 puzzles out in the garage um, because when Emily was a baby, I would do puzzles. Um, that was before I 
found crocheting and before I found diamond painting. Um, so I would do puzzles when I didn't feel like making cards because that I was still doing cards. Been doing that since before um, I left home. So anyway, anyway, back to my get off my little tangent there. Um, I did see this as a puzzle in Joanne's, which was really, really cool. Um, but I already had this on the way, so I was really excited. Check this out. How amazing is that? It's mind blowing. I'm telling you. Love the colors. I love the intense stare of the owl. He's just, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of art. Um, and I had the wrong drills. I'm such a dork. Go in the basket. Okay, anyway, so as you can tell, it's going to be extremely colorful. We're talking rainbow magic with this one. Um, it is a 40 by 30 because it is landscape. Um, if I can open this, we'll quickly look at the drills because, I mean, you can tell by the picture, by the canvas, what the colors are. There are 19 colors in this one and this is my PG packaging the others were all all the others were all in my favorite packaging my most favorite painting comes in my least favorite packaging with no DMC codes so we have black for the eyeballs but there's actually quite a bit in this package surprisingly as if I need more black. Then we have red and navy and grape. Then we have bubblegum and cherry. Then we have lime and lemon. Then we have blue and burgundy. Then we have three more blues there. Then we have orange, and this is a really cool lavender color. Another bubblegum pink, a darker purple there, and then we have really pale blue and a teal. Or is that turquoise? I never, I always get those two mixed up. I think that's turquoise. So we have a beautiful range of rainbow colors going on there. Quite a bit of pink. So lots and lots of colors. Let's look at the canvas again because this... So I think this will be one um, really fun one to do because the colors are all so scattered um, it's going to be fun. It won't be so tedious because I'll really have to pay attention and be changing colors quite a bit. Um, unless I just go for doing all the same color first, like do all the yellow, then do all the orange, you know, that kind of thing. A lot of times when I do it that way, I will start with the smallest, um, amount, which looks like in this case would be that really pale purple. So if I do it that way, this would be the first one. And I would open it up and do all of that color. And then I would find the next smallest, which is probably this blue right here, or this bubblegum pink. Then I'll do all of that one. Then I'll do all of that one, and so on. So does anyone else work that way? Um, a lot of times I work in sections. So... Um, I don't get bored, but that's usually when I have like large areas to cover. But when there is a painting like this, it's kind of fun to do all the same color and um, just watch the whole painting come to life little by little instead of section by section. So um, I don't know. I just I I really every painting I do a little bit differently. It just depends on my mood because um, if y'all haven't noticed, I have a little bit of ADD and I tend to um, 
sidetracked really easily. So, yeah. Have y'all tried this yet? I have to admit, at first I was like, oh, it's nasty. But then when you swallow it, it's really good. So I'm not quite sure why it has like that, like almost like a diet soda um, at the very beginning. And then if you let it get a little bit warm, which is really gross, I hate warm soda. But then the orange flavor comes out more. I, Creamsicle is like my favorite, favorite ice cream in the world. So if you kind of do like that, like when you do wine, I don't know. Anyway, it's fun. It's something different. It still has caffeine in it. Um, yeah. So this one, Emily started and then ran off and left it and then got mad at me because I finished it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you snooze, you lose, sister. So I had started to frame this one after um, I finished it. And realized that I needed more um, coverage. And I'm, I'm smoothing down the washi tape. Sorry. Because it is coming up. I really hate, really wish washi tape had a little bit more stick to it. So here is my little ladybugs. And if you don't know, ladybugs are a thing for me. This bracelet, um, I actually had the set earrings, necklace, and bracelet. Um, I still have the earrings, and as you can see, this bracelet is old. So I just have a little bit of the enamel left. They were all enameled. They were red and black and had little black um, spots on the red. So this bracelet is probably, let me think. Um, this was probably given to me in 90, I don't know. It's 20 years old. We'll just say 20 years old. Um, so ladybugs have always been a thing for me. And um, I have not found many diamond paintings that are ladybugs, let alone full drills. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, that's just way too cute. Little ladybug parade with their little umbrellas and the water drops. Now, as you can see, it's only the ladybugs that have been done. But it is super, super cute. So this is my first ladybug painting. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is my very first ladybug painting. So the majority of my paintings, as you've noticed, if you haven't noticed, are owls. Um, because they seem to be the most popular um, as far as diamond paintings go. There's just a lot of different options. But as you can see, I put some green washi tape, um, but the frame I have is an 11 by 14, so I need to add more um, to the perimeter so I can frame it without the white showing. I just haven't gotten around to that yet, but I thought I would share that with you all. And um, be sure to stay tuned because we have lots, as you can see, the mess in the back. That painting in the box, wait until you see that. Oh my gosh. That was one that I bid on kind of blindly because the listing only showed the original photo. But it was so flippin' amazing, had to have it. So I ended up getting that huge painting for $4.32. Yeah, wait till you see it. Oh my gosh. And I have a pile down there um, of framing. So I want to do another framing video. I haven't done one of those in a while. I have some um, friend mail underneath there. Oh, excuse me. I shouldn't have had a drink. Oh, um, have some friend mail under there that I want to share with you all. And as you can see over here on my desk, um, those are all waiting for y'all to see. Yeah. Yeah, I have a serious problem. Plus, I do. I know I promised a long time ago, and I apologize. Um, cookie season just really... I had all these ideas during cookie season and it just never came to fruition. So I still have the plan to share with you all how I make um, my storage portfolio. And you can see under my dresser um, is where I keep my portfolios. And you can see the naked one sitting on top, waiting. It already has some paintings in it. So it's waiting to be decorated and made beauteous. 
And um, I think that's all. I think that's all for today, for this one at least. So stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe. Um, I am had to come up with a new idea for our giveaway. Um, so I think I'm going to do two drawings since it's taking me so long. Um, so I think we're going to have two winners that will get diamond paintings um, from me, from my stash. So um, please stay tuned. Please subscribe. Um, join us on Facebook. I have, um, I think I'm going to do away with the original page and just keep everything in the group. Because with the page, I was just showing you all paintings and stuff. With Whereas with the group, we can actually chat back and forth a lot easier. So um, if you are on the Diamond Painting with Margie and Emily page, um, go ahead and move over to the group. Um, I will hopefully be able to put a link to the group in the description box. Um, it's got the same title, Diamond Painting with Margie and Emily, so if you want to search for that. Um, the photo as the banner is the little owl, the little shamrock owl. Um, let me grab her real quick to show you. All right, so when you're looking for the new group, look for this painting as the banner. Um, this is the new Facebook group little logo, I guess you could say. So look for that. Join us. Um, just click join and I will approve you. And then we can chat and we can share our paintings and have some fun in there. And um, I think I'm going to do a giveaway in there as well um, once we reach, I don't know, say 500 members in the group. We'll do a separate giveaway from YouTube. Um, but I am trying to figure out a way to do drawings fairly. Um, I might just have to do it like I've done in the past where I just do a random number from the subscriber list and um, that will have to be the winner. So with face uh, YouTube turning off comments, it kind of blew my idea for doing a comment. I was going to pick a video and then pick a comment. Anyway, so join us on Facebook. Rambled on long enough. Sorry. There, oh, that brain of mine makes me crazy. Anyway, I will see you soon. Check in the description. Um, I will link to Peggy Buy. A lot of these I know Peggy Buy has. So if you don't want to mess with trying to find the listing in eBay, head over to Peggy Buy because I know most of them are there. So I will see you soon.